I've been spending a lot of time recently checking out AI tools to see which ones actually help teachers save time. And I'm really excited about the tool that I'm going to show you in this video called Diffit because it's going to help you take pretty much any resource and convert that resource into differentiated resources for your students. And it's not just text-based. Diffit will also take those resources and turn them into ready-to-go activities for your students. So I'm excited for this one. Let's hop into it and learn how to use Diffit. All right, so to access Diffit, you're going to want to go to web.diffit dot me. Click on this green login button to sign up for a free account. And then after you do that, you're going to see this my resources tab show up here. You'll be able to see all the previous resources you created and continue to work with those. And we'll look at that at the end of this video. Now, like most programs, Diffit's going to have a free version and a premium version. At this point, if you sign up for an account, you have access to everything that Diffit offers for 60 days. I'm not sure if that's going to be changing, but for now, that's the deal that they have. And if you want to learn more about the differences between the free and the paid plan, you can find that information on their website. I'll also be sure to point out which features are premium features throughout this video. All right, let's go back to the homepage and have Diffit start to create some differentiated resources for us. Here you're going to see that you have three options. One is the literally anything tab. This tab allows you to just input a topic and then it will use generative AI to create a reading passage and a bunch of different resources. You have another option, which is to use a link to an article or drop a link in from a YouTube video. And then this third option, which is to input your own text. And you can also upload a PDF, which is pretty helpful. Literally anything is best if you don't have any resources to start with. So let's check it out. I teach digital media, so I'll input here what is digital citizenship? And then because I teach middle school, I'm going to change the grade level to seventh grade. Note that you can also select the language here. Hit the generate resources button and it's going to take Diffit a little less than a minute to do its magic. And the first thing that you're going to notice is that Diffit's going to use AI to generate an image. Now, like most AI images, the images are sometimes hit and miss. Fortunately, you can select from a number of images, and you can also upload your own image if you would like. The next thing you're going to see is that Diffit's going to generate a brief adapted reading passage based on the grade level that you selected. One thing I really like about the AI generated passages is that it has this option here to show sources. So if you click on it, you'll see that it's going to show you all the in-text citations. And when you select one, it will take you down to the full list of citations so that you can see where Diffit is pulling the information from. And then you also have the option to edit this passage that will allow you to cut any sections out or add anything that you would like. Lastly, this copy button will allow you to copy the passage to your clipboard and then you can paste it elsewhere by hitting command or control V. Next, you'll see that Diffit generates a summary, which you can also copy and edit. And this might be something that you might want to say copy and paste over into a Google slide presentation if you want to introduce this topic to your students. Now, directly below that, Diffit also is going to extract some key vocabulary words based on the text. And I also like that the AI generates a sample sentence as well as the definition for that vocab word. This add vocab words button is one of the premium plan features. It's going to allow you to add additional vocab words either manually or by having the AI generate the words. Directly beneath the vocab words, you'll see Diffit's going to generate some multiple choice questions and answer choices. And of course, you'll be able to edit these too. You can also click show answers here just to verify which answer the AI has determined correct. Believe it or not, I have found some instances, not with this program, but in other AI where it's chosen a different answer than what I thought it should be. So it's good to just double check. And then similar to adding new vocab words, if you want to add additional questions, that is going to be one of the premium features. I do like that you can select different depth of knowledge questions so they aren't just all assessing basic comprehension. For example, I can select simple reasoning, 
select the number of questions that I need. And you'll see that it generated the question, why is it important to be a good digital citizen, which is in fact a simple reasoning question. And if you want to export these multiple choice questions into a Google form quiz, be sure to stick around to the end because I'll show you how Diffit makes that process much more simple. Now, in addition to the multiple choice questions, Diffit's also going to generate some short answer questions. And I truly appreciate that it gives us the option here to see the correct correct answer. It's useful not just for me to be able to see the correct answer, but that can be something that I can also use with students if I want to have them say self-assess or grade each other on the accuracy of their responses. With the short answer questions, you also have the capability to add new ones, though just like multiple choice, that is going to be a premium feature. Lastly, Diffit will generate some open-ended prompts. You can also add new prompts here that are all gonna be depth of knowledge level four questions, though that does require the premium plan. Before we use these resources to generate student activities, Let's hop back over to the homepage to check out other ways that Diffit can differentiate the resources that you're starting from. If instead of having Diffit generate content for you, you already have a link to an article or a video, that works too. Let's say I have a link to this article. I can just drop that link in and then either keep the same reading level of the original text or change the reading level. And of course, I can also ask for it in a different Different language. And then it's going to create all the related resources that I just showed you. If you click show sources, you'll see that it's only pulling information from the article we gave it as opposed to pulling from multiple resources like with the literally anything option. There's also an option here to adjust the length of the passage. You can choose for it to be short, medium, long, or the original length. All right, let's go back to the homepage and now, instead of an article, I'll drop in a link to a YouTube video. Similarly, I can select the appropriate gray level, and then you'll see that it has generated a resource bundle based on the content of that YouTube video alone. Your last choice is to have Diffit generate leveled resources based on any excerpt or PDF that you give it. One option is just to dump in a chunk of text. You can add 2,500 words on the free plan and up to 10,000 words on the premium plan. Another choice would be to upload a PDF file, which is pretty helpful if you have a lot of PDF copies of your curriculum that are just at a single grade level and you want to create leveled versions of your curriculum. Here, you would just choose a file from your computer, find the PDF that you're looking for, select the appropriate grade level and language, and then you'll see that it's going to generate a resource bundle based on your PDF. All right, so everything I just showed you is really helpful, but it's the next few features that I think really make Diffit stand out from other AI tools that I've used so far. First, at the top of every resource bundle, you'll see there's an option to regenerate this resource packet or any grade level. So let's say that I have some lower readers in my class that need a lower level text. I can just change it to second grade and it's going to regenerate everything in that resource packet for a second grade level. And then for my high flyers, if I need something that is significantly more advanced, I can select 11th grade and within seconds, I'm going to have a much higher level version that's all based on the same exact content. Not only can you auto differentiate, you can also auto translate. So right next to the grade level drop down, there's an option to select from, I believe up to 50 different languages. And you just select that language, click generate, and it's going to translate whatever resources you want it to translate into whatever language you choose. So here you can see I've translated all of my resources into Spanish. A ver como es. Ah, me parece bastante bien. Yeah, it's pretty good. Now, if quickly differentiating and translating resources were all Diffit did, I would still highly recommend it. But it's the fact that you can also take those resources and convert them into ready-to-go student activities that really makes Diffit into a true time saver. So you can see here at the top of all of your resource pages, you have an option to get student activities, and that's going to take you over to this export library. Here, you can filter the templates based on grade level, subject, and format. 
The little lightning icon underneath the templates indicates that unfortunately they are all part of the premium plan. The only one you can do for free is this save and print as a PDF. But if you do have access to the premium plan, you're definitely going to want to take advantage of this option. So first let's take a look at one of the Google Docs exports. At first, I have to admit, I wasn't all that enthusiastic about this because I thought I could just copy and paste my own stuff into a Google Doc. But then I realized that when you export into a Google Doc, it does all the formatting for you, which is, of course, a huge time saver for me because it takes me forever to format Google Docs. And then there's another option to export your resources to a Google Form. It's really only useful here to export the multiple choice questions because it doesn't really make sense, I don't think, to export the rest into a Google Form. But when you export the questions, you'll see that it's already set up for you as a quiz. That means everything's been organized in the right place. The correct answer has been selected. I know it sometimes can even take me like 15 to 20 minutes just to copy and paste questions and answers in where I need them to go. So I love that this just does all of that automatically. Those two are great, but what really impresses me are the Google Slides templates. What I like so much about these is that it's not just taking those resources and basically copying and pasting them into another location in a different format. It's actually taking them and converting them into high quality, rigorous activities to do with students. So for example, you can see here in this Frayer model template that it is extracting the vocabulary words, putting them in the template, and then students will engage with those vocabulary words according to the Frayer model. And then in this ACE short answer question template, it pulls in the short answer questions and then has students cite evidence and reasoning when they are justifying their response. There are even some templates that will pull in the image that Diffit generated and have students do a notice and wonder. And then they have these other templates that are supposed to be more designed to be printable where students will record three things that they learned, draw or add two images, and then ask a question. This is just a small sampling of the different templates that they offer. And every time I come on here, it seems like they have new ones. So kudos to Diffit for not just giving us text-based resources the way that ChatGPT might, but actually taking that text and converting it into high quality activities that you can use right away with students. Now, if we go back to the home page, you'll see on the My Resources tab that you can go back and access all of these resource bundles that you've created. And at any time, you can select the three dots, click Copy, and then share that link with a colleague. And you can also click into the resource and get a new leveled version of that resource bundle and generate new student activities at any time that you need. As you can see, Diffit is a pretty impressive program in terms of not just helping teachers save time, but also helping to personalize learning for students. If you're interested in learning more about education technology tools that can help make learning more accessible, then be sure to check out that other video. Hope to see you there.